They're doing that a lot on the real doctors, fake friends. And they're innovating on it, actually, because this is where you see where writers' brains are crazy. So the dude who, and we, we forget, you know, like, there's everyone involved in this show, but then you got um, the dude who wrote the show. I can't remember his last name, Bill. But um, he is so funny. When, when he does episodes on the show, you really see how... You think that there's like a curbed edge to genius, but there's no, and it's such <laughs> it's such a freaking obnoxious trait. But the reason why a genius can be obnoxious is because he's just joking. Yeah. It's gonna take you all the way around there, but at the end he's gonna say it's actually yours, you know. It's not mine. <laughs> and he did this funny thing where they used to do they do different segments. So they'll be like, ask this guy, ask this guy, and then that they'll ask a question, and I guess the producers will get the answer from the other people and get the audio and then put it in the episode so they'll play it right there and then they'll continue the podcast but they haven't heard it obviously so they can't mm. reply to what the person's saying but Bill was like you know what I don't like being like everybody else <laughs> on the show so he's like what I want to do is record mine ahead of time and then uh, I'm going to send it to you and then you can reply to mine and that was just a really interesting innovation where you see what happens when a writer gets into the podcasting universe Mm -hmm. because you can you can do whatever (laughs) you want and why not be weird like he was just being joking you know and and a little bit of ego but mostly joking and but he innovated something amazing just Mm -hmm. like he did the entire show if you think about where it fits chronologically in sitcoms and anyway let's go Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction, and this is another episode of The Composition, and we're actually doing a dual podcast. Like, this shit is going to be really, really dope. I'm here with my guest, Kenyo. What's up, you guys? Yeah, I just started recording on mine, which officially makes it a dual podcast. And this is, uh, we're parked, so I'm going to call this a chillin' with Kenyo on mine. What, what's the name of your Mine is, episode? it's just going to be the composition. I realize more and more that it really doesn't matter on the audio as far as the different seg- segmentation. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like. You know, I just give it names for fun, mm-hmm. you know, because I'm like, what's the characteristic of the thing? Because I put them all on one podcast stream. But it's like, I think the names are really just for any sub name anyways just for categorization and then I can make a funny intro like Chilling with Kenyo has Ote singing the intro oh that's interesting okay cool 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 <laughs> yeah you know well this would uh, technically be a uh, chronicles of uh, self awareness and the reason being is because I really want to break down what we we're talking about as far as you know skateboarding being the blueprint uh, to business Skate your um, life, people. Skate your life. Because, you know, what's really interesting is the, you know, I grew up and I watched a lot of skate videos, you know. And what's really interesting is the fact that now we have, it's been glorified called fail videos. And there's literally whole channels and whole, you know, different thing of people literally bailing out um, in life and in, you know, uh, sports and different things like that. But this concept of you know a lot of what these skateboarders these underground skateboarders were doing were literally recording themselves doing some of the craziest tricks in like random ass places you know and over and over and over again and the relationship as far as the videographer and how you know when you get these videos it's really just the umbrella uh, within videography and when you look at what's going on right now with why Gary V is winning so much he's basically doing the business version of skateboarding you know and why does that transact so well because there's life lessons there's you know the over and over and over again of doing this thing you know yeah yeah two podcasts you guys gotta check out the nine club skateboarding podcast and Gary V's podcast. Those two podcasts are my most listened to podcasts and they greatly affect my it's just cool cuz it recontextualizes that thing cuz they're it's it's two things, it's two angles on the same thing which is um yeah, like comp just said, doing the same thing over and over again like people who are really in the dirt of what they do and it's like we see so little 
of um, those things. But when you get to hear these people talk, you get to really put it into context. Because, like, yeah, you don't get to see 90% of the fails. And you're not seeing any, really, of the progress before there where they're, like, learning the stuff or, or, or trying out most stuff for the first time. Um, you're seeing these... The, when they land these really cool tricks and then you're seeing some of the the documentation on the side of like you know them traveling and doing different stuff um, when they're sponsored and skateboarders are really gnarly but yeah people need to skate their freaking lives you gotta you know I don't know if it's a you gotta thing I think people are already doing it I just think um getting into the the documentation they will show it, it off. Out. They gotta put it you know and I was just reading this article too actually uh, this is cool because I'm able to bring up the article while I'm doing this but it was actually saying how it's been scientifically proven that you know by you actually do more harm than good by not showcasing your achievements. It's like, you know, you can be in school, elementary school for years and be like, no, I don't turn in assignments. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's, it's by psychology today and it says the secret of your success. New research reveals that concealing success may undermine your relationships. And so when we think about as far as these people who are landing these tricks and putting them out and everyone seeing you know this over and over and you know kenya brought up a good point as far as completely perfectly explaining what happened as far as the expansion tour you know we literally were like freaking skateboarders in the creative field and we literally went and grinded out and literally almost destroyed ourselves you know and was able to come back and documented it you know, now it's really, right. you know... Put, I can do tray flips all day. Right, you know, like, we went as, you know, as something as close as this parking lot that we're sitting in. And we're across the street from Travis Park, you know. So it's just, like, something as close to home as that to as far as freaking Japan, you right. know, and back. And everything in between. And really understanding what that was as far as with entrepreneurship. That was us doing the 720 for the first time. And freaking, like, you know, on the third freaking time landing it. But what skateboarders do is they and what business requires is doing that over and over again. You get to the point where, yeah, you almost destroy yourself getting and landing this trick. You know, it's just like in animes or like when a person, you know, like a mutant in a comic book, you know, they get their powers for the first time. You did it. But now you need to be able to control it and do it consistently, you know, like, yeah, for the first time you may have been able to snap your fingers and you got like a flame that's, you know, going on there. But how do you control it? You know, how do you make it last longer? How can you do it at will without burning your hand or burning down the whole place? You got to now learn how to control it. And that requires practice that requires the consistency doing it over and over and over and over again oh yeah and i think the gary v one too is very chill with it because business at the end of the day it is like and we're going back and forth gary v nine club it is like rolling up to you know a three stair four stair and being like, oh, am I going to be able to ollie this? If you don't know what ollieing is, it's jumping. And anyway, never mind. Then you're not listening to this if you don't know what ollieing is. So you're not going up to a thing and saying, oh, you know, like, oh, this is going to be super duper easy. Sometimes you're going to try it. Sometimes you're going to mess up. And the same thing in business. You haven't done it, and it's it's uh, it's kind of taken away the the um, the perfectionist side of the way things go with school and. And um, and realizing, yeah, you're gonna try this thing, and you're gonna be able, you're, you're gonna fail um, a few times, and you're gonna learn, especially how to roll out of failures, which is a lot of skills you need to learn anyway. Which is like, oh, what is my situation with money? Like, what's gonna happen if I do this? At a certain point, you're gonna be like, oh, okay. You're gonna start coming up with some of these ideas for yourself, how it works with you. Like, oh, okay. I, you know, I have to, you know, figure out how I know what my bills are and I know how 
different angles of me being able to accomplish them. That's not going to change. Yeah, you'll you'll try the business and it might work. And if it doesn't, that's cool. Try a different type of try a diff, different. But with business, I think in entrepreneurship, you can't really be out of it. Yeah, I think you need to be in it and you need to be getting into it every day a little bit, at least a little bit every day, because nothing else. It's not even that nothing else is certain. It's just that, like, why wouldn't you? You know, everyone else is doing their own thing. The business that you're a part of is just somebody else's, you know, kickflip video. And and they they did it for a long time or their dad did it for a long time or a group of people, you know, did some stuff or whatever. But, yeah, just get your own get get your own little thing going. Drop a, right. <laughs> drop a, get, try out a, having a website. Try out having a... Um, selling to your neighbor and understand like when you get a website that's literally like getting the skateboard you know you have to learn how to ollie with this website you have to learn how to ride this website you have to like any skateboarder that you see and they're doing a trick and they make it look easy please remember that behind that easy looking thing was like years of fucking trial and error and fucked up angle at ankles least a year. and no, you gotta give it at least a year <laughs> of every day i think just to get up to speed not even if you're trying to do a business just for like whatever your hobbies are and whatever you're into you should be doing you need to go try and try different stuff and just go for a year before you expect to see any kind of progress and that's harder for adults to do because they're thinking about so much stuff and whatever whatever but you it, that's part of the skill too you have to learn how to make space for yourself yeah because you're not doing it because you're you're so busy or whatever whatever you're doing you're not able to do it because it's kind of hard and it requires you to do some interpersonal work and some and some self-reflection or whatever it requires Brief. you to push yourself out the fucking Challenge way. Yourself. <laughs> you know, like it requires you literally to push yourself out of the way because any time that there's a hesitancy on things that I could be doing, it always has it's me. It's me. I'm in the way and whatever version of that it just has to be moved because that literally you have nothing to do with the fact that that thing has to be done and let me tell you as someone who's literally been at this for over three and a half years i can tell you when i consistently do something it pays off so if you consistently maybe the first month you may get nothing maybe the second month you may get nothing nothing. (laughs) with business actually i think it's even longer with business you need to do it for five years before you expect anything Anything uh, substantial, like, to, like consistent. A business from scratch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might get sales and different things might happen, but you might completely change the business in four years. Yeah, when a pandemic happens, what you need to realize is the the scale that these things work on. Yes, you can jump into someone else. It feels like you're doing it faster if you make it into a partnership. Oh, it feels like oh, let me get everybody well, right when it comes out. I'm gonna spend three hundred dollars <laughs> on the packaging and the t-shirts. I've been in it for two months. I I need to post it on Facebook. I need to tag everybody. <laughs> it didn't work. What's going on? <laughs> Let me text everybody. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Shut up. Right? Like it, You are a child. <laughs> That's literally what... Think about it. Think about five it. Five years. You, don't expect anything. Get five years. It. Think about figure, a five-year-old human. You know, they're a fucking toddler. You know? So it's just all like when it comes to this business, and it doesn't mean... By no means does this mean that you're not going to be able to support yourself in this. But you have to understand yeah. business because what where people I think the longest well, route to people you need to separate supporting yourself from it exactly because they are two yeah. separate. When it gets there, mm-hmm. if, when it when it showed you for two months how much it's making and that's enough to cover your bills then yes it is literally able to support you and then from there on you know you can say whatever your bills are if you like whatever you decide are the necessities if you look at the amount and you say that this goes for me it can go that's been different amounts for me there's a time where the 150 dollar or whatever check from 
Google Ads, I was like, hey, this is going to be good for at least eight months. <laughs> <laughs> I can stretch this. Carl's Jr. has the spicy chicken. <laughs> what they don't know is they also have the <laughs> the green burrito salsa bar. <laughs> Take the spicy chicken to the salsa bar. You basically have a spicy chicken deluxe. <laughs> You only need one of those a day if you have some other snacks around that you can steal from your roommates. Come on. What the heck? But, uh. <laughs> well, you, oh, you want to definitely. I, what I've yeah. learned is you want to. Find when you, when you, There's easy ways to make money. I think that's another part, too. You got to yeah. think about the ways that you can make money. Every month, you should be thinking. You should be improving the quantities of money that you make from different sources and, and be playing around with that too it doesn't mean that you need to go oh let me leave my and get it all from here but if you can start getting ten dollars a month if you start getting fifty dollars a month and you know how it works and it's not like some kind of game but it's like something that you like making from production to distribution you're down for it you know like and that is where you're gonna find your business and if you can start getting like 150 200 when you start leveling up like that and then we're like oh you know what that is making me this but you'll find out you know it's like ah, i don't want to sell that anymore because of whatever but then maybe i just think you gotta you, you gotta play around on the money side look at the different ways there's other ways to make money too and realize all the different things that you can yeah like register for sign up for you might not even dislike certain types of jobs that it's not even really related all the time to you running a business your business might be a non-profit or it might just be a personal brand with your music or whatever but i think you you have to take this passion stuff that you have in you and put it out there and then yes think about the freedom of what real money can do and kind of educate yourself on on quantities of money because the money thing isn't that big of a deal it's just it's it's an important science, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a really important science, and you have to study that one. That one, that's another 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> that's another 10 years where you need to do the science of whatever it is that you're trying to sell, especially if you're trying to invent something, mm -hmm. and you haven't done the science? Yeah. You just that's 20 that. years. Yeah. That's but like... <laughs> there are other ways to develop products, too, and I think, um, hit me up if you guys want to. I'm a, I'm a, on. That's one thing I do. Free product consultations. If you need to know what one of your intuitive products is that you could come up with from your life, mm. I would tell you to just think about it and come up with it yourself, but many of you intuitive tend to be very bad about, the, about that. So so hit me up if you're struggling. But you can do it. Just think about something. I'll leave it there. Oh, yeah. That's a perfect way to end it. Like, mm. yes, that is... Think about your right now. This is a time where we're in, we're starved for intuitive products. There's so there's such exactly. a need for it. You know, everyone needs to be dream right now. I, like, I didn't want to use the word dream, but this is their job. Yes. This yes. Is, this is your yes. this is your main yes. engagement. Yes, that is one hundred percent true. So on that note, guys, this is a very great freaking Tuesday uh, podcast. Um, Make sure to hit me up. Got all of that in the description. Make sure to hit, stop by the store. Just go ahead. Just glance about dabtro.com forward slash shop. We got t-shirts. We got CBD. We got services. We got music. We got books. You know, we got the deluxe, you know. And where, where can they, where can they find me? You guys, I'm actually going to be going into hiding. Um, so <laughs> you're basically not... I don't want you. Don't hit me up. Don't look for me. I need some time to myself. Except on the podcast. If you subscribe to my podcast, that's the only place where guaranteed <laughs> you'll actually be able to find me. Um, so go ahead. You can subscribe to the Kenyo HQ podcast. That's. I'm also starting a text thing. So text 949-297-6068. Text Kenyo Warriors. 949-297-6068 if you want to get um, a lot of text messages <laughs> <laughs> you might if you're not you can always say stop but it's going to be a lot of texts so um, <laughs> that's it
And if you're listening to this on the Anchor app, you can actually leave a voice message and I will actually play it in the next clip in the next podcast so if you want to do any type of shout outs or just you know drop a couple of lines go for it it's free and make sure to drop your social media info so that way you can be tagged again this is mr composition mc that writes fiction peace that's what